Today I'm going to show you how to factorise a quadratic expression where the number before x squared is not equal to 1. So these examples are harder than the normal ones which you have to do. So let's have a look at example 1 then. So we need to factorise 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. So we know that these type of expressions with the three terms go into double brackets. Right, now since our first term is 2x squared, the values we need to put here and here will be 2x and x, because 2x times x is 2x squared. This gives us the first term. So the next thing we've got to do then is think about our last number, which is minus 4. So we have to think of all the pairs of numbers which multiply to give me minus 4. So the pairs that we can have are plus 1 times minus 4, minus 1 times plus 4, plus 2 times minus 2, and that's all the pairs of numbers that we can have. So we now need to put one of these pairs into the brackets here, so that the middle two terms combine to give us this minus 7. So to do this we need to check the outer pair and the inner pair of terms. So I think then it's going to be plus 1 and minus 4. Because if you check the outer pair, 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x and 1 times x is 1x and minus 8x add 1x gives minus 7x. Um, there's no easy way to do this but with a little bit of practice you should get the hand of figuring out which ones give you that middle term. So let's have a look at example 2 then. So again we know it goes into a double bracket because we have the three terms here. Our first term is 3x squared so at the start of the bracket we need to put a 3x and an x because 3x times x is 3x squared. So we now need to think about the number at the end, the last term, plus 10. So let's write down all the pairs of numbers which give me plus 10. So we could have plus 1 times plus 10, minus 1 times minus 10, plus 2 times plus 5, and minus 2 times minus 5. So one of these pairs of numbers must be the correct one. So we have to this time minus 17x. So the outer terms and the inner terms multiplied together must add together to give minus 17. So the pair that we need this time will be the bottom one. That's because 3x times minus 5 is minus 15x and the inner terms minus 2 times x is minus 2x and minus 15x take away 2x is minus 17x so this is the correct pair uh, thanks for watching this short video